Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video where we are going to have a look to a backup solution for your private videos, photos, documents and data. Nas share I have chosen is from QNAP and before we'll have a look to specification, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to do not miss my next video which will be about setting up the QTS system. QNAP NAS storage and data backup system TS453D-4G which is powered by Intel Celeron J4125 quad-core 2 GHz processor with burst speed up to 2.7 GHz and with 4 GB of DDR4 memory in one of the memory slots. It features up to 8 GB of DDR4 memory, meaning you can expand additional free slot with another 4 GB of DDR4 SODIMM RAM on 2666 MHz. NAS supports SATA 6 GB per second for connecting your hard drives and SSD drives. TS453D features one PCI Express Gen 2 slot that allows for various expansion cards such as 10 GB per second network card or M2 SSD slots. TS453D comes with two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet RJ45 LAN port that allow you to use existing CAT 5E cables and of course you can connect it to your existing 1 gigabit network until you upgrade your modem, router and switch to 2.5 gigabit network or higher. While we are looking into quick installation guide, I'll continue with specification and don't worry I'll list it in the description under the video. There are three USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. It has HDMI 2.0 output with resolution up to 4096 pixels of horizontal resolution up to 2160 pixels of vertical resolution at 60 Hz, allowing you to directly view multimedia content saved on the NAS on bigger screen in real-time streaming. And while checking the accessories in the package, we can discuss the 4K video support. So, the support of high quality 4K video transcoding enables the NAS to convert videos to universal file formats that can be smoothly played on multiple devices. The TS453D also can stream videos through DLNA, Chromecast and more to satisfy your versatile to multimedia application need. One thing to note is that the TS453D's hardware provides hardware decoding, encoding and transcoding capabilities. However, playback quality may vary due to factors including playback software, file format, system usage and available bandwidth on your network. So this is the content of the package. We have TS453D itself, AC adapter, power cord, two LAN cables, drive tray flathead screws for 3.5 inches or 2.5 inches hard drives and quick installation guide. As you can see, the NAS case is wrapped in extra plastic to protect it from any unintended scratches. So let's just unwrap it and check the surface. And we can see airflow holes in one side and ventilator exhaust on the back side together with the connectors. As well as the holes at the bottom for proper airflow. So this is how the box looks like. Now there is a lock on the left side of the NAS, so let's slide the lock down to release the cover. And now we can remove the front cover. And to remove the drive tray, you can just simultaneously press the latch to down and pulling the tray out. Each of these trays can be extended with adapter to hold either two 2.5 inches discs or with one 2.5 inch adapter to hold the M2 SATA SSD. Now there is a one more box which I have to unwrap and that's holding my discs. I have chosen hard drives from Western Digital. Let me just unbox it. And uh, I have actually three in the package because I will be configuring the NAS share in RAID 5. Together with the package, there is an extra small box, but uh, hit the subscribe button to learn more what is it about, what is it good for. I'll do another unboxing in my next video. Now let's just unwrap the discs. And I'll mute myself and will let you enjoy the ASMR sound.
The how to steps for mounting the 3.5 inches discs is to first remove the fastening panels from the side of the tray. Place the drive on the tray so that the holes on the sides of the drive are aligned with the holes on the sides of the tray. Attach the fastening panels back. Optional step is to attach screws to further secure the drive. Once the disc is mounted in the tray, load the drive tray into the drive bay. And now I will repeat this step two more times and we will have fully mounted all our discs in the NAS storage box. And you are free to jump into one of the next chapter, either on how to connect the AC power cord or the LAN cable or the tip how to reduce the noise from the vibrations or you can listen to another ASMR sound. Now there is one important thing I would like to mention from my experience and that's basically the NAS share box vibrates when the hard drives are in and spinning. And the vibration basically goes directly through the boom arm to my microphone and it's not nice sound so I use this plastic underneath which very nicely mitigates all the vibrations. So that was the final peel off of the plastic from the front cover and we are ready to power on our NAS storage. I will let you listen the fun noise and hard disk noise just for a few seconds. Beep. 
And that's it. In one of my next videos, I will be going through the installation steps. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to do not miss it. Cheers.